This is the Equinox Spectra Pix button. This has been the best selling LED bar we have had at phase one for the past three years by a country mile. It's a brilliant product. If you haven't seen this product, you need to go and have a look at our other YouTube videos because this is brilliant. <sighs> what a product. But you know what? I would love this if it was battery powered. Battery powered, yeah, 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 battery powered. And then if it had wireless DMX built in, whoa, now that would be a product. And if it could do master and slave wirelessly with no cables. That would just be amazing as a product. Yeah, yeah, mate, no problem. Your order will be with you tomorrow. Uh, thanks very much for that. Thank you, cheers, bye bye then. What's this? Something left something. Let's have a look. What's this, what's this, what's this? What is this? No, my dreams come true. Equinox Spectra Pix Lithium Batten. Oh my word, it's happened. It's happened. This is the brand new Spectra Pix Lithium Batten. Let me tell you about this. We've got a lot to get through on this one. Should we do the short version first? Right, the short version of this video. This is a brand new light from Equinox and it's a Spectra Pix Lithium Button. And it's exactly the same as the Equinox Spectra Pix Button. But this one has wireless DMX and it has got a lithium battery in it, which makes it totally wireless. If that's all you need to know, it's time to click the link in the description of the video It'll take you through to our website and you'll see all the different packages and all the different pricing information and all the different bundles that we've put together. If you want to stick around, I've got quite a lot to tell you about this fantastic product. And don't forget, and I should say this at the beginning of the video, if you like our videos, click the subscribe button, click the like button, it really does help. Okay, let's get down to business. For those that are sticking around for the full version, this item has got 224 tri-coloured SMD 5050 LEDs, RGB, red, green, blue. Producing all these wonderful colours that we can see going on here. It's got a viewing angle of 120 degrees, DMX channels, and the DMX guys are gonna love this. Two, sorry, not two, three, five, 24, 48, and 53 channels of DMX. So the DMX guy, and to be honest with you, I've seen some amazing videos out there of the uh, Spectra Pix button being used by guys that have programmed it up on DMX desks, and they've done a great job. And you know, you're gonna have the same kind of control over this, but wirelessly as well. Right then, auto programs. We've got it set in an auto program right now, and there is 54 auto programs. So if you don't wanna do the DMX thing, like probably me, because I'm too lazy, 54 programs within the programs though what you can do is so let's say you select program one and you press enter to select that then it will take you through to speed and you can speed it up and you can slow it down then you press enter to lock the speed in then it will give you a strawberry as well which you can select between zero and nine and obviously nine, it's going to flash. I've obviously got it set at zero here, so it's not flashing for the purposes of this video. So you've got all that control there as well. Static colors built in. We've got 26 static colors, but if you want to do your own color mixing via DMX, you can, or even by using the menu, by changing the brightness of each individual LED, you can make your own shades and own colors. But I think you'll find out with 26 colors that are built in there, there's going to be something for you. It also comes with this IR remote. Now, these are point and shoot remotes. I'm not a huge fan of the point and shoot remote. It's a bit like the old fashioned days when your remote on the TV, you had to like nearly get all the way there. You might as well press the button on the TV and do it yourself. Um, 
High eye remote is always going to be line of sight. The little eye eye remote sensor is just on the side. And so you've got to be line of sight. It's no good being round here, but from this little remote, you can just about access everything from what I can gather. Uh, you can select the programs, you can select the fades, you can set it as master slave, you can select static colors. So, you know, it comes in the box. It's not my favorite thing about this light, but to be honest with you, we get a lot of these lights where they'll lay these things in and I just think, I'd rather just press the buttons on the, on the, on the side. But you might find that handy and it comes in the box. This is all made of metal. This is a Perspex front. Oh, and I should say, just before you think, these two lights are not the same. Ah, but they are. Because when you buy this light, it comes with this milky screen as well. Which what you do is you remove the end cap and slide that into there. So then you get that look or you can have the clear look. So these are identical lights. They're not different. I should have said that at the beginning of the video. On the unit. Coming to the unit. Yeah, just look in here. We have got IEC in and IEC out. Why would you have that? It's battery powered and wireless. Well, you've got to plug it in to charge up. And what's great is you can plug that in to charge it, then daisy chain out of that one with a male to female IEC lead and daisy chain them. Hence, you would only have to plug in one into the wall. So that's why there's an in and out. We've got our menu here to select all the different features. And we have got our wireless DMX for making it either a transmitter or a receiver. This one is currently the master and this one is the slave. So it's working master slave wirelessly. That is just epic. So it's got built in transceivers. There's a little aerial thing here on the side. Yep. Uh, which tucks away quite neatly. So I don't know whether you're getting that on the camera, but you can see it's there. And if I was to show you on the other side of this unit, we've got the little aerial there which tucks away quite nicely when you want it out of the way. Um, also, we've got on here a battery indicator. Now, the battery life on this. Oh, I've been blown away with the battery life on this, to be honest with you. So, I've been testing these for a few days now, and I came in at half past eight on Wednesday morning and turned both of these on, and I was using them with this, which I'll come to in a second. So I was using the wireless DMX. I have them both addressed differently. So I had one doing one thing and one doing another, which I can do from this desk, which we'll talk about in a minute. Right, and I set it off at half past eight and I shut the shop at five o'clock and it was still running. I came back in half past eight the next day, set them running and they worked from half past eight till five o'clock that day. I came in Friday, the last day, turned them on half past eight, Work till about quarter to 11. Now we reckon that's about 19 hours, which is epic. We have them in a color mode like this. According to the specifications, even though I got 19 hours, the maximum runtime in a single color is seven and a half hours. 16 hours in a color change, color fade. Probably what we're talking about is like this scenario. And if you add it full on, so you just add it on in white, so every LED is on full, they reckon three hours, 45 minutes. I don't really see you using this type of product in full on white. I see you using it like this or in a static color. But I got more than that. One thing though, the battery indicator, and I get this on a lot of battery powered product. It's like you charge it up and it's 100%. And we've got down the side here, it's the LEDs, you've got 100%, 75%, 50%, and then 25%. Now on the second day, I turned them on and it was at 75%. I thought, gosh, I've still got 75%. It worked all the day before. Then I came in on the third day and it was at 50%. And I'm like, so this is day three and it's at 50%. How many more days am I gonna get out of this? No, these battery indicators, and I get this with a lot of battery powered stuff, is they hold, they hold, they hold, and then all of a sudden you get to that last bit on the battery indicator and then it's like wallop, it's gone, yeah? So what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't go and do a gig with these for 12 hours and then look at it and go, oh, it's still got 50%. I'll get another 12 hours out of that. No, don't fall victim to the old battery indicator thing. When I found when it was gonna lose its power, it just went really quickly. So just a little word of advice from Mike. Right then, let me tell you about the wireless DMX. So this is working master and slave. So this is the master, if we change the program on this, it will change the program on that. 
You can obviously use a DMX desk wirelessly, so we don't have to use Master and Slave. I have been using it with this. This is a very simple item. It's not a full on DMX desk. This is the LEDJ VersiLED wireless. Now you've seen this type of controller before, but not necessarily wireless. And um, it's really good for controlling power cans, really good for controlling LED bars, where you don't want a full on DMX desk, you just want to access the colours and maybe some of the built in programs and speed them up and slow them down. Brilliant idea. This one is a wireless one and you can transmit from here to here and then we could have control of the red, the green, the blue. And then we can um, also control the colour macros. And what's even nicer about this particular one, and I'll put a link in the description to the video, to this item, this particular one, we can have banks of fixtures. So when I was doing my experiment, I had this addressed as number one. Yeah, so then I would set number one into a colour or whatever it is I wanted to do. And then I had this one set at address 11 on this one, and I had it doing something different. So you, I could have had 10 of these on address number one, all doing the same. 10 of them, more, on address number 11. Four different banks. So it's a great, neat little bit of kit, that. And it worked really, really well with this particular unit. It's not designed just for these. You can use this with a lot of the uh, WDMX compatible stuff. You could, though, however, if you wanted to have your phone on DMX desk, or if you're using your sound switch, or anything else like that, or any other DMX programs, if you had a WDMX dongle transmitter, you could use your full-on DMX desk or full-on DMX program to wirelessly transmit to these. These will receive. I just think that this, I mean, look, the SpectraPix button. I kid you not, that for us has been a superb product. Why I think it's been such a superb product is the versatility of it. This isn't a one-trick pony. It's very fashionable at the minute to have these um, LED tube type things, dotted around the stage, and they do the look mint. But that's all they're ever gonna do, right? You can do that with this, using the feet. Now again, I've gotta add, they don't come with these feet. These are an optional extra, yeah? Again, click the link in the description to the video, and it will take you through to the website where there's different packages, and we sell a lot of these feet because they work well with lots of other LED bars of this size. So you can use it like this, you can have them dotted around the stage, it gives you that effect. But then you can also use this for a little bit of uplighting. You can use it, a lot of people actually get these, and the feet that come with them, they'll attach it to a speaker stand, or they'll attach it between the pole, between your speaker stand and your base bin. So you could use it like that. So it ain't just something that has to sit on the floor. Use it for a bit of uplighting. I have a SpectraPix button in the shop, that actually sits on the wall, up light in one of the walls in the shop. So it just, it's got the versatile thing about it. It's not just a one trick pony. And I think that's been one of the key successes to this product. And it just produces nice colors and it just works. I wanted this in battery powered. I wanted it with wireless DMX. Basically we've got it. If you want any more information on that product, Click the link in the description of this video and it will take you through to our website. There's probably loads of things I've missed out on there. Um, if you like our videos, click the subscribe button and the like button. It really helps. It's Mike Phase 1. Cheers.